Well, first of all, congratulations. How does it feel? Thank you very much. I'm absolutely over the moon. It was a, it was a great fight. It's an honour to share the cage with Raphael, um, especially seeing as though it was his, uh, his last goal in the octagon. It was, uh, yeah, it means a lot to me. Was that kind of the fight you were expecting? Did you think you'd have to kind of fight for it all the way through, or did you think you could get, could get in and out of there quicker? Um, I mean, to be honest, I, 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 was expecting, I was expecting a good war. You know, Rafael's... He's very durable, you know, like I know he had a, he had a, a bit of a bad run, um, but his chin looked good tonight, I thought, and uh, I, I expected it, I thought I'm going to have to sort of keep my range, uh, keep it sharp, hopefully catch him coming in, or on the third beat, so like sort of make him miss and, and, then, and then hit him again, um, but I expected him to sort of like get older, me, grind me, and I knew I was just going to have to be patient in, in some sticky spots and, uh, and look, look for the finish. Was there anything that surprised you about him? No, not really. To be honest, I mean, he's. Uh, I've been watching him for a lot of years. Uh, I'm a big fan, and uh, he came at me with uh, with what I thought he was going to do. You know, he swings big, uh, tries to get on the floor. He's got he's got he's got good defence, and I, I feel like he's yeah, he's an all round good fighter. And it was just nice to go and get the win against him. Did you know that he was going to retire if he lost, or was there any rumbling backstage or anything like that? No, no, I I, I, I didn't know. I'm uh, and like I say, it was an honour to share his last performance in the octagon. Um, we're looking at your record, the last of your last four wins, three of them ended in the third round. Is, do you feel like that's when you're the most dangerous, is in that third round? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It looks that way. I, don't, I usually don't feel like that. I feel a bit fresher in the first round, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it makes for exciting fights, and that's what, that's what everyone wants, so I'm happy with it. And I know, um, you know, this is kind of a big card, first time in this venue, and, you know, out, out in Vegas again, but I, you know, it's Curious why you weren't on the London card. Does that kind of did was that something that kind of bothered you at all, or were you happy to be on this card? No, I mean I, I'm happy to fight. I don't, I don't mind where I come. You know, it's uh, and like I've got a home away from home here. It's Syndicate MMA in Vegas as well. You know, so so it feels really comfortable. I spent my last few fights here, uh, so I don't mind. It would be nice to get on a London card. You know, it's a bit close, and a few of my friends can come watch, <laughs> and my family and stuff. So it, it would be nice. But like I say, as long as I'm active, I don't mind. I'll fight anywhere in the world. Are you going to be able to get out there and watch that card? Yes, I'm going to go down with my wife, yes. And I guess my last question, uh, when do you want to get back in there? London, if, <laughs> if anyone's available, anyone drops out, I'll, I'll stack up and wait this week. Thank you so much. Thank you, cheers. Hey, Davey. Hi. Um, you were down on the, on, on the judges' scorecard, so what was, what was told to you uh, going into that third round? I mean, third round, John said, he said, look, he said, you're going to have to knock him out. He said, like, you know what I mean? We're probably two rounds down now. Uh, I, I, th I thought the second round was close. I thought it could, probably could have gone either way. I might, I might just swear to him, but I, I didn't want to leave it in the judges' hands. You know, I really had to... I like to fire under my ass there, and John said, look, you need it, you know what I mean? So, uh, more volume going in there and start swinging him, and he said, just let him feel, let him know what your hands are like. That was what he said. After having a super busy 2021, how frustrating was it just to fight once last year? Yeah, it was. It was, um, it, it was tough. I, I wanted to fight loads more, um, and... I'm not, sure, I'm not sure why I never got the fight, you know, I, I, I was sitting ready and waiting and obviously like I know there's other people to get on and stuff, uh, especially like the European cards and all like with the vaccination laws and things like that, there's still a lot of people maybe can't get in the US and everyone's got to get the turn, do you know what I mean, but like I just want to stay active as much as possible anyway. And you know, you kind of already talked about it, but you haven't, you haven't fought in London since 2016. So, yeah. what, so what the what the hell is it going to take to get you on that one? I know, cards? I know. I'll definitely, I'm definitely just going to cut weight this week and uh, put some banana skins around the hotel. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, who do you got in that main event next next uh, next weekend? Next weekend, uh, yes. I mean, I'm definitely going to go for Leon. He's a I think he obviously shocked the world last time, and uh, and he did fantastic. And I think, like, no disrespect, but it, it depends how Usman comes back. You know, sometimes it's, gonna, it's hard to come back from a knockout like that. And uh, he, he's definitely going to be have to be a little bit more on his game. And but but like I say, I think Leon is is definitely one of the best in the division. Well, he is the best in the division, and he's a and he's a good friend. So so I, I'll really be rooting for him. Your old buddy Cheeto fights in two weeks as well yeah. in, in a very pivotal matchup. Yeah. Who do you got winning that fight? Um, I'm honest, I'm not sure. I think it's a bit of a pick em, you know, like both very strong. Uh, I, I, honestly, I, I wouldn't like to choose, you know, but I'll, I'll, be, I'll be watching. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks.
Dangerous Davey. Hey, hi. Congratulations on the victory. Thank what you. was going through your mind when they deducted the point in the third round for grabbing the fence? Yeah, I mean, honest, honestly, I thought, wow, that was a bit harsh. You know, like, it, it's a natural reaction. It wasn't like I was grabbing the fence and using it to, to gain the position. But if your face has fallen towards the fence, your hand comes out, do you know what I mean? And it's hard to, like, to put it out straight without sort of grabbing it. But I totally understand, you know, the ref's just there to do his job. But... It definitely it made me think, right, I've definitely not got this third round now. So it was like lighting a fire in my ass. I, I had to go and, go, go and do everything and I possibly could to go and get the win then. So, yeah, it was, uh, like I say, it, it's just one of those things. you just got to deal with those sort of things. And as you mentioned, your coaches probably felt you were down two rounds. Mm. You only had 17 seconds left yeah. to spare. You had the advantage on the feet, but to get the reverse triangle choke... Yeah. How does that all feel for you? Yeah, I mean, honest, I was just squeezing for dear life, you know. I, I felt the position was there, and I thought, I'm just going to have to drop for it, because I, by the time I'd have got back to my feet anyway, and then started swinging on him again, it would have been so hard to get the knockout. It was a Hail Mary, and it was a weird one, an inverted triangle, you know what I mean? But, but it, yeah, luckily this time it paid off, and honest, I'm, I'm over the moon. I thank my lucky stars, I do, honest. It's because uh, he's such a good fighter, and to go and get a finish like that, it's um, it's it's probably just I just feel like I'm I'm just so lucky. Honest, all these positions I get in and all these situations, I just always feel like I'm I'm so lucky. You know, it's like it's uh, yeah. I just I just thank everyone so much for these sort of opportunities. And now that Rafael's retired, do you have a favorite fight or favorite memory of him in the UFC? He's fought a lot of killers in this division. Yeah, I mean, no, honest, I've watched these fights for years. You know, um, there's not one what what comes to mind to be honest, but I just I know that I've been a fan of him for for, for a, lot, a long time, and he's he's been up there with the best of them for, for for as long as I can remember, for ever since the UFC and WEC merged. Do you know what I mean? And honestly, I wish him all the best in, in retirement. I think he's an absolute stud and a pure gentleman. I've been talking to him all week, and it, it's just business. You know what I mean? And and that's how it has to go for one of us. Congrats. Thank you very much. How are you, David? Hi. Um, sorry, uh, can I just get a drink? Sorry. Yeah, of course. You mentioned durability um, earlier. Were you kind of considering what you were throwing at him in the third round? Were you surprised, like, how he wasn't really reacting to the shots? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, I thought I would have hurt him a bit more in the first two rounds. I think I was a little bit hesitant. Uh, by patience was the game. I was just meant to just pick him off from the outside. I thought it would be a little bit easier to hit with the straight shots. And uh, I, I think I said to my coach in between the rounds, I said, he's, he's pretty hard to hit here, you know what I mean? I said, I feel good. And he said, look, you're just going to have to up the volume. You know, so, and that's exactly what I did. And then as soon as I did that, I started landing on him. You know, once he gets a little bit more tired, he's a little bit less reactive on the shots and things like that. So um, he, was, he, he counted my first, my first tape and tapes that I'd been given in game and he caught it and took me down. It made me a bit hesitant to throw kicks and stuff. So then once I, st once I started opening up with my hands and, and I started finding the target, then it was like, right, it's time to pour on the pressure now. And if you want to fight in London so bad, are you tempted to instigate anything outside the arena rather than getting a fight inside I'm, the arena? I might have to. I might have to. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> How's the restaurant business up north? It, I've, I've sold it all now, oh, so okay. yes, yes, thanks. But, uh, yeah, we got rid of it. Would you, it was, would you be tempted to open up a restaurant over here if you've got a second home at Syndicate? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's so, it, it's, uh, there's so many nice places to eat over here already. I think the competition would be a bit much. <laughs> Where do you like going? Sorry? Where do you like going to eat? To, there's okay. a... I like to go into a place called Neko Sushi. It's all you can eat sushi place. It's absolutely delicious if you ever want to try it. Are you going to go tonight? Uh, I'm thinking about it, but it, it might be a bit clean. I might be going to eat burgers and <laughs> something a bit dirtier tonight. <laughs> uh, enjoy the dirty burgers. Thanks very much. Cheers. Davey, congrats on the win. Thank just, you. Um, Could be back off uh, Alex with the picks. Just two fun ones. Uh, in your weight class, main event, who do you got or who do you like to be matched up with? Marab and Peter. Uh, who do I think is going to win? Yeah. Uh, Marab. Uh, I've been training Marab um, in the gym for the last few weeks. He's, he's, uh, he's an absolute beast. Honestly, he's got, he's got a gas tank like no one else. He just, he just doesn't stop, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Marab get the win tonight. I'm, and I think it's going to be a, be a fantastic fight. Two, two of the best in the division going at it. And, and yeah, we'll look forward to that. Thank you, sir. And last one, another an an analysis prediction. It was announced you got Cejudo coming back. You know a lot about layoffs. He's coming back, taking on Sterling. How does that go when they go for the belt? Um, I'm not sure. It's, it, it depends how, how Cejudo takes the time off. You know, Aljamain's been doing really well. 
had some fantastic wins, and Cejudo is an absolute G, you know, former Olympian. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's a massive fight, massive fight for, for everyone in the division. So, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll have my eyes peeled for that one. Thank you, sir, and congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers.